Kickin' Chicks! The Kickin' Chicks. Back at you again! I am so cuckoo bananas that I get to once again come through the internet and join you again for another installment of E Kids! Let's see, we've got, um, we've got Miss Vicky, we've got Miss Darby with a craft, and a very, very special guest that I'll talk about later. First off, I would like to say, um, cuckoo bananas for all of the pictures and all of the messages that your parents sent us telling us all of the cool things you did for Easter. Amazing. So definitely keep that coming. I want to know all of the cool things that you are doing with these e-kid videos. Yay! Should we tell some jokes? Yeah, because what am I? That's right. I'm a practical yoker. So, let's get to it. Um, let's see. So, um, let's go with accessories. You know I love a good accessory. So let's go with bear accessories. So, let's see. Um, why do you think that bears wear fur, fur coats? Number one, reasonable question, right? Well, I think it's probably because they would look silly in trench coats. Can you imagine? Trench coats. I don't even think that they would have the shoulder, you know, with form. Just wait, just hulk out right there. Right? Right. Let's see. What, um, what color socks do bears wear? Bears don't wear socks. They have bare feet. Sillies. Bears wearing socks. You believe that? Bears wearing socks. Oh my goodness. Let's see. What is white, furry, and shaped like a tooth? A molar bear! <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. All right. Th thanks, guys, for hanging out with me and my, and my yokes. Now that you're all geared up, I am going to pass you off to Red. You haven't met Red yet, but you're about to meet him. He is the cousin of Oreo, my very, very favorite rooster. So we're going to find out what he has to say. I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I can't wait to be with you again. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Hey, y'all. My name is Red of the Rhode Island Reds. That's my brother Oreo's chicken camper. We're practicing social distancing. And just like you, we may be getting a little frustrated. But just remember, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. This is one of Miss Vicky's favorite verses. Grant, who actually lives over the hill a little bit, he's taking a video of some of my nieces and nephews hatching from eggs that Miss Vicky has given them. They are all Oreos kids. I can't wait to see them. I guess we'll just have to wait till we can all get together again. Hey, e kids. Um, Darby wanted me to do a video on our chicks and incubator. So um, we have chicks inside of here, and we have four more eggs to hatch. Um, this is day 20, and the degree um, that they're in right now is about 99 degrees. Oh, and it's out. Oh, yep, his head's over here. And it looks like the one right here is Vicky, and I think it's Ricky. Stella did him really confusing. Um, we started on March 23rd. Um, as I said, it's day night 20. Sorry, day night 20. Um, they have about 21 days to hatch. Um, otherwise, people have in the past um, helped them a little. Um, but it's not the best to. But have a nice day. Are you ready for this week's Superbook Adventure? We're going to be visiting Jesus during his ascension into heaven after the resurrection. Isn't that exciting? 
So go ahead, click the link below to access the lesson. When you get to that page, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see the lesson and the video for Jesus's ascension. When you're done with the video, come back here. Friends, isn't that so exciting that Jesus is in heaven today? Before he left, he gave us some instruction. Today's super truth says he has sent us to reach the world. What a huge responsibility. But he also promised to send us a helper, the Holy Spirit. Today's super verse says, Again he said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Our craft today reminds us of our super truth that he has sent us to reach the world. Are you ready to get started? Come on. Hey, you kids. Welcome back to our craft and kitchen with the kicking chicks. The kicking chicks. We're going to do a craft today based on today's super truth, which is he has sent us to reach the world. So today we're going to be recycling our crayons to make a new crayon that looks like the world. Are you ready to get started? So for this craft, you're going to need a pile of old crayons that you can unwrap and you need an oven set to 280 degrees and a muffin tin. You can use a mini muffin tin or a regular size muffin tin. And let's pick out some blue and green and maybe some brown crayons to unwrap. Go ahead and get started unwrapping. Did you get your crayons unwrapped? Sometimes they're really tricky. So if you have a little pile here like I do of blue and green crayons, go ahead and get those ready. And you're going to break up your crayon pieces and just set them in the muffin tin. Can you see there? That's about how many crayons I put in mine. Now we're gonna stick the muffin tin in the oven for about 10 minutes. Check it after about five and see what kind of progress it's making. They should be all melted at that point. Okay, I've got my crayons in the oven and I set the timer for about 10 minutes. I checked it after five, it still needed to melt a little bit more. But there's the timer, let's check it. I think we're ready. Okay, I have all melted crayons in here. So you can't draw with a melted crayon, can you? So I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll stick them in the freezer. And I think that sticking them in the freezer will help them pop out more easily when they're done. Hang on. Okay, the tins with the crayons, melted crayons in them have been in the freezer for about three minutes. Let's check them out. They're cold. Oh, they came right out, great. Oh look, mine looks like a little world. What does yours look like? My crayon works. How about yours? I miss you guys. I hope you had fun with that craft today. This is Miss Darby for the Kickin' Chicks. The Kickin' Chicks. I hope you like our video. I can't wait to see it with you guys and all the little babies. Have a good day. Bye.